Hey guys, Dan here with another video. This is episode 30 of our Unity Make an RPG series, and uh, today I'm going to continue uh, working on our character creation uh, system. Uh, just a recap of last time, we can go ahead and press play in our Unity program, our Unity project, same project as before. Last time, what we did uh, was we added this next button and uh, we set it up so that we could transition in between each state and save all of our data or store all of our data so that we can access it uh, because we weren't doing that. And we set it up so that we made some logics for this next button. So let's say if I choose uh, a mage and I hit next, and we're in the class selection, it'll take us to the stat selection. And if we're in the stat selection and we move next, then it'll move us to the final location or the final setup. And in that case, the button changes from next to finish. So the couple things I want to do now is one I want to work on this uh, this setup this the setup uh, for this scene or this state which is our gender selection our name and then a short bio and then I want to also make a back button. So I'm gonna go ahead and go open up mono develop here and um, where we have our I think all of our logic is in our display create player functions. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set up another big if statement like this, and it's going to be for our back button. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and probably and just copy and paste this for now. Uh, instead of next, we're going to say back. And then we need to think about it. <clears throat> we are going to have a couple select uh, spots, but the first one we need to think about is when we're in class selection, we can't, we don't want to, we can't go back anywhere. So we're stuck at that one spot. So we're going to, instead of looking for class selection, we're going to say if we're in stat allocation. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do that. We're not going to be choosing our class. And when we click it, so when we say we're going to click back and we're in stat allocation, we're going to go back to class selection. And then the other one is final setup. And then and when we click, when we're in final setup, we want to go back, we're going to go from final setup to our stat allocation. So we're going to control to save. I'm going to go, uh, we're actually going to need to move this, let's say, uh, 340. So we're going to. Let's try uh, 295 for now. Let's see how that works. So I don't have no lock on 295. Controls to save. We're going to Unity. Let's see what this button looks like. So we shouldn't have a back button until we proceed, which we do. So what I, we're going to make an if statement that encapsulates this whole thing, and it's going to say if uh, create a player GUI dot uh, current state. Dot current state is equal to create a player GUI dot uh, create a player states dot class selection actually we want to say if it's not equal to that then display the back button and I'll explain what I just did I'm gonna copy all this and hit tab all right, so what I did is I created an if statement. And I'm saying if the current state is not class selection, then we're going to display this back button. But if it is, we don't need the back button, so there's no point in displaying it. So it's one less call that we need to make. So uh, one less draw call that we need to make. So I can go ahead and press play. I don't think I saved it. Hold on. <laughs> Controls to save. We'll go back. Shouldn't be there now, and it's not. As you see, the back button's not here. We can still select our two classes or however many you made for your game. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select a mage and hit next. And our back button shows up now. It's not the, it's not the ideal spot. Uh, but I can shift it over in a second. Put it at 290, I guess we'll start it at. Uh, we still, all of our plus and minus buttons still work, which is what we wanted. And when I hit next, when I hit back, it should take me back to the create uh, new player, the class selection, which it did. Hit next again, we should have different stats. 
which I think we don't. Stem is 15, we should next. It's not. Okay. Let's look next back. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is we need to replace um, we need to re rep when we are in stat selection we want to go back to class selection we need to replace what's in our game information script so we need to go game information uh, player class we need to reset the class and we'll set that equal just to null so basically it's going to set it to empty to like void space should so let's see so our stamina is 12 and endurance is 14 let's remember that we're going to go move on stamina 14 endurance 12 we're going to go back it should erase it and we get 15 and 12 we're still not getting that let me think it's early in the morning um going back So we're choosing our class. It should override it. What I'm gonna do, this is where debug statements come in. We're gonna go debug dot log. We're gonna do game information dot um, player class dot, and then we're gonna look for the uh, class name. So before we erase it, we're going to look for the name. And then after we erase it, we're going to look for the name. All right, so I'm going to select a warrior this time. I'm going to move on to next. We have 15, 12, 12. We're going to hit back. We should get two values. We get warrior, and then we get an error because it shouldn't be there. And it actually didn't allow us to move back because of that error. And that uh, error comes from this line, of, this debug statement. So I'm going to go ahead and control to save. We're going to go back into it. Select the warrior. We'll hit next. We have 15, 12. We'll hit back. Warrior. i got to try to figure out what's going on. Let's see. Okay, so I paused the video real quick. I wanted to um, figure out what the problem is. Uh, and I did. It's a very simple uh, fix. I, I played around with our debug statements trying to figure out where the issue is coming from. And uh, so I had this debug log statement in our um, state machine. I'm going to go ahead and erase that because we don't need that. I'm going to control us to save. And I totally forgot. But if you remember, we set up this if statement here in our uh, stat allocation module where basically it runs this set of code once. And this doesn't go back to false until you reset the um, reset the code basically restart the program and uh, so what we're gonna do is if you remember we set it up we set the stat allocation module up so that we can access it in our display create player function uh, and so that we're, therefore we can access public variables from this um, from the stat allocation module class so I'm gonna go ahead and make run uh, did run once I'm gonna make it public I'm going to control to save. I'm going to go back to our display create player functions. And when we hit back and we're in our uh, stat allocation, uh, if, we're, if we're in stat allocation, we hit back. What we want to do is go ahead and um, do right. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and reset that bool value, did run once, back to false. Okay, so I'm going to control to save. I'm going to actually get rid of this common line. Control to save again, and now we're resetting that back to false. So that when we go back into it, it's going to run again, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to clear this up. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I'm going to select a mage. Remember, we have 12 stamina and 14 endurance. I'm going to hit next. We have those values. They're adjustable. We're going to go back. I'm gonna hit the mage this or warrior this time. We got 15 and 12, and you see we've changed our values. Now we have 15 stamina and 12. That's exactly what we wanted. So just to just to show you that it works, from finish we can go back. So it's working how we want it, which is awesome. So the next thing I want to do 
uh, next thing in the video for today, uh, we're going to make a name, a spot for a name, a gender, and then a, a description of your character or short bio. Uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, I just thought I'd add a little bit more to the end, just like another step of uh, character creation. Uh, maybe you have multiple steps. Maybe you want to have select some gear or something. You can go ahead and do that. Um, I can get more into the graphic stuff, like I said, in, uh, in a couple weeks. Um, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up this. Uh, what we need now is a uh, string. So we're going to do a private string, and it's going to be a uh, player name. Uh, and then we're going to need another private string we're gonna do player bio and then we're gonna do a uh, private I think I'm gonna bool and we're gonna go is male and so this is gonna be our is female uh, or it's gonna be our gender selector or selection um, then we'll do this is uh, bio you can and the name. So in our final setup, when we move in there, we want to display a uh, text box. And if you remember, we've done that before. And it's right here. It's our player name is equal to GUI layout text area. And uh, we're not using GUI layout this time. We're using, um, we're just using the ones that are the, just plain GUI where we can place it where we want and adjust it, uh, adjust the pixel or the screen values. And so what we need to do is we need to put our player name that we just created and set that equal to a GUI text area. And again, if you remember, it takes a uh, rect and then a string or text. And if you remember, you can also set the length. See, I set that to 15, so I'm limiting the player name to 15. And we can do that this time or you don't have to. I probably won't actually. Um, and I'm actually thinking about doing a first name and last name which I'm going to go ahead and do now. So I'm going to go up to player name and do player first name. Uh, hit enter. I'm going to do private string player uh, last name. So in player, this is going to be our first name now. Oh. Player first name. Uh, Text area. It's going to take a new rec, so we're going to new rec. We'll say uh, say 20 for now, 10, uh, 100. We'll do 35, and then we need uh, a string, which will be our player first name, and then a. Let's say we'll limit to 25 characters for now. We don't want anything too crazy. Or if you let it to get too long, then that's just a lot more to handle later. Uh, then we'll do GUI dot text area new rect. I'll do twenty instead. Uh, actually, we'll do yeah, we'll do twenty instead of ten. We'll do uh, fifty five, a hundred, and then thirty five. Player last name. Uh, then we'll do 25 again. So we're going to go ahead and control S to save. We should, uh, when we go through the program, we should see these text areas now. So I'll make a mage, we'll go next, next. Alright, so I got a couple more errors again, and uh, I'm going to blame it on that it's early in the morning. <laughs> but, anyways, basically, uh, these two strings are empty right now. Uh, so it's not seeing anything. So what you do is go up to. Um, it's just a placeholder. It's just an empty like uh, storage spot right now. So we're gonna actually say uh, enter first name. We have the first name and last name. I'm gonna go ahead and set that equal to uh, enter last name. And um, so basically, when we enter this, uh, where'd it go? When we enter this, it should, it's going to show up here first. And we're actually going to make these a little longer 150, 25. Just nitpicking a little bit, making these look a little better. Uh, but basically, it's going to uh, just have this, allow this to d display a string. And then it'll just, once you change it, it will uh, 
you can leave it like that, but once you change it, it'll replace it. So I'm gonna go back ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to uh, Unity. I'm gonna press play. Select a warrior. I'm gonna continue and see we have our name here. We can erase it. So you can say Dan is mage or something, you know, whatever you want. But this will be our last and first name. Uh, you can put little GUI labels above it if you want. Um, the next thing I'm going to add a larger text area real quick for the bio, and then I'll probably think I'll end the video there since it's getting a little long. Um, so I'm going to go ahead up to our play player bio, and we're going to have the same uh, issue here. So we're going to say enter uh, player bio. Controls to save. We're going to come down to uh, right under our first name and last name. We're going to go uh, player bio. It's going to be equal to the same GUI dot layout. Oh, excuse me, dot text area. It's going to be a new rect. It's going to be, uh, we'll start at 20. We're going to do uh, 70. Let's see, 55. 55 and 25 is 80. So we'll start it at 90. We'll go 250 by 200. We'll go player bio. And then we'll let it have 255, 250 characters. That's a lot for now. I mean, it's a decent amount for now. So go ahead and control S to save. We'll go back to in the Unity and we're gonna test this out and make sure it works. So I don't leave any you guys with errors. And here we have our first name, last name, and our bio. And then the next thing we'll do, I'll probably set it up like right over here, it would be our uh, gender selection. Uh, so in the next video, I'll do the gender selection thing. Uh, the video will go over how we're going to save all the information to game information, and then uh, we'll hit finish to save it all. Uh, anyways, I hope you liked the video. Uh, hope you guys find it helpful. Thank you for all the support, the comments, likes, and subscribes. Keep it up. It's amazing. Uh, I set up a Twitter account. It's at Harley Brief Dan or at Harley Brief Dan. Uh, I'm gonna just put basically updates uh, of when I post a video and um, when uh, if I'm running behind, if I get caught up at work and I can't post a video, I'll let you guys know on there. It'd be a lot easier than trying to post somewhere else, like on YouTube. So, anyways, uh, follow the Twitter account if you want. Uh, please like and subscribe again. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.